Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonks to Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be discussing some massive news from Futuroscope. Now we have three big European news stories to come. Uh, Futuroscope, Europa Park and f -Talling. Three big theme parks in Europe with big, big stories in future investments. So we're going to be discussing all of them in three individual videos today. Uh, I am also pre-recording a next five years video for tomorrow from Six Flags St. Louis. So stay tuned for that one as well. I'll be pre-recording a whole lot more videos throughout the rest of the weekend as well uh, for days that don't have theme park newsroom updates or just days where we're going to upload pre-recorded videos just to give you guys some extra content. Uh, but for now, let's get into this stuff about Futuroscope. So this is all about their five-year plan. Now, we discussed this in a previous video uh, a few weeks ago. And we discussed how they've got a five-year plan in the works. And we've got this thing for the Aqua Park as well. So that is in here. Uh, but we do have some brand new details on the five-year plan. And in fact, it's pretty much revealing exactly what's going to go down each and every year. Um, so there's a few little details in there about the plan and what the aftermath of the plan will bring. Or is expected to bring or hoped to bring. Uh, and we also have specific details about attractions, that's right, attractions that are going to be coming in certain years. So uh, there's one year that doesn't have much details and that is because it's keeping it very under wrapped. So I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with that. Uh, but for now guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Uh, our main content is theme park news, so if you do like that then please send it in down below. If you've got any news stories, don't send any links, just tell me where to find it and I will find it and shout you out of course. I am going to be doing some poll reactions as well. You've probably seen that on the first poll. You can go over to the first poll. There's still time to answer on that poll and give you some extra comments in the in the comment section down below that poll. Uh, so that deadline will be before the start of this weekend. So I'll be doing a reaction to that poll hopefully this weekend. And for now, guys, let's get into talking about the individual elements of each of the five-year plan for Futuroscope, an ever-growing, ever-revolutionizing, technological masterpiece of theme park material over in France. So, as always, we kickstart with 2020, and of course, they've already opened their Intamin spinning roller coaster with indoor and outdoor sections, Objective Mars. Uh, of course, codename Mission Kepler, it's now known as Objective Mars. Uh, that was the big coaster project. We've done a couple of updates on that coaster already, a few updates on that particular project, so you can go and check that out. I think I put a separate playlist up for that as well, so you can check that out as well. And of course, they've also got Zero Gravity, which is their indoor freefall center. So, very exciting stuff there. Now, it all starts in 2021. So, the park will host a brand new night show called Le Clé des Songes. I think the G is silent, so it might be Songes, but it might be Songes. Um, I'm not too sure what that pronunciates in French. Well, I didn't know at the start. I was put, putting the information down, and I was thinking to myself, what does that actually mean in uh, in French? And, you know, when I put it through, because I spent ages and ages and ages before recording this video, uh, putting it through the translation machine on our trusty site, Google. And, um, you know, I think it was really, really interesting uh, to see what it would come out as, because uh, I, was very, uh, I was very interested to see what the theme of this will be. Um, so I put it through Google Translate and it said the key to dreams. So um, very exciting stuff there. Uh, so the key to dreams, very exciting title for a show. And uh, that's going to be a firework uh, spectacular. Uh, obviously you can see by the concept art already on your screen you see where this has been located. Uh, this is going to be uh, outside that big old complicated dome structure. Uh, the mountain dome structure. Um, so very exciting stuff from that one. So that's a very exciting addition, not too big. Um, but then you've got the next edition in 2022, which is a major attraction. So this is Chasseurs de Tornade, which translates to Tornado Hunters. So this will open in 2022 in a brand new pavilion next to Objective Mars. 
It will be the world's first dynamic motion theatre from Dynamic Attractions. So it will be an immersive adventure mixing real sets, actors, screens and a huge rotating platform with 120 seats. This, from the concept art, again you can already see it on your screen. This looks like a very exciting attraction in my opinion because, uh, oh my goodness, I mean, I thought that the fireworks and the, and the show concept art looks amazing. When you look at the concept art for Tornado Hunters, I mean, doesn't it look amazing? I mean, you could get a nice, you know, a nice experience. And I like how they're going with the dynamic motion theatre because, of course, one of the IMAX theatres, Pavilion de Solido, I think it's how it's pronounced, um, that was what was replaced with Objective Mars. So it's nice they're bringing in some kind of motion theatre to sort of fill a void left by the previous attraction of where this is going, which is, of course, this is going next to Objective Mars and a brand new pavilion structure. So very exciting stuff there. Now, also, 2022 is going to be a big year for accommodation and entertainment. Now, also in 2022, the park will open its first hotel called Station Cosmos. So, this will have 76 rooms, and along with it, it will have a roller coaster restaurant called Hyperloop. Now, this is very exciting to me personally because I am a massive fan of the um the roller coaster restaurant first of all i like the the style of that i like how they're going to uh, to do this and again i've seen the concept art for this uh it looks amazing and you know very very worthwhile attending this particular um restaurant uh if you don't know what a roller coaster restaurant is basically if you've not experienced the roller coaster restaurant old towers uh next to galactica or if you haven't experienced food loop at your own park Futurisco is one of the one parks I've always wanted to see a roller coaster restaurant at. Um, but basically, yeah, um, this is basically coaster track delivering food. I, I mean, it's literally, that is it in a nutshell. It is literally food being delivered on coaster track, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I, I literally cannot wait for this. Um, and this is just going to be an amazing, amazing addition to the park. Uh, now, as well as that, and... Uh, the Tornado Hunters uh, motion theatre attraction, dynamic motion theatre attraction. They will also have some entertainment in a brand new arena venue called Arena Futuroscope. So this will host 6,000 people and it will include many brand new shows. So uh, this is going to be a brand new entertainment complex, a brand new entertainment venue, uh, which is very good for the entertainment side of things and I cannot wait to see that when it's up and running. In 2023, the park will open Ecology, which is the second hotel of the park. Uh, of course after uh, Station Cosmos uh, now they will be opening 120 eco lodges that can host five people per lodge now the concept art is already on your screen it looks beautiful like everything else Futuroscope does it looks beautiful uh, now these are these uh, little mini apartment pentagon like structures um, the and they've got like a the, and they go across the water how cool is that? Um, and this is all part of this brand new expansion area. This is all part of this uh, brand new expansion area, which I'll tell you more details about the actual expansion area uh, in a little bit. Uh, but this is very exciting indeed. And again, great accommodation by the park. Different station cosmos in terms of the way it's themed. You know, this is more on the eco lodge route um, with the, the nature theming and the sort of classic uh, outdoor sort of like a modern day futuristic camping lodge kind of theme uh, where Station Cosmos is more of the hyperspace theme so I like how they're differing the themes of each accommodation with this one uh, now in 2024 we're going to see two brand new things open to the park so first of all it's the one that we've known about before and that is of course the aqua park the water park uh, known of course by its uh, name Aquascope so this will be a brand new uh, indoor water park uh, so we knew about this already so that will be coming in 2024 confirmed now uh, unless anything else happens and along with that they've got their second major attraction in the theme park so this will be Mission Bermudez so it will be themed to the Bermuda Triangle and from the concept art which is already on your screen right now it looks very much like it could be the brand new Mac Rocking Boat concept. This is a concept from Matt Rides in Germany. Um, and I'll talk a lot more about Matt Rides uh, in the Europa Park video today uh, about their future plans uh, that have been unveiled. But with uh, Futuroscope, it looks like it could be the Matt Rocking Boat. I mean, can you tell from the concept art a little bit? Uh, kind of. You can see the track underneath the boat 
uh, car structure. Uh, you can see the rock work it's going to go up against. It's got the screen next to it. Oh my god, these attractions look amazing. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is going to be brilliant, honestly. These, all these plans are brilliant. Um, now, we could be totally wrong about the Matt Rocking Boat concept, but comment down below if you think it is going to be the Rocking Boat concept. Uh, or whether you think it could be something different, mate. But I think no matter what, it looks very likely this is going to be a Matt Rides attraction, uh, no matter what the concept. So it will be an interesting one. Now, 2025. Now, this is the one we don't know much details about. This is the last year of the plan. Nothing's been said about the 2025 major ride, except it should open in December and it'll be a brand new roller coaster. And I'm going to get on about my predictions about that in a little bit. Uh, but here's a few little extra final bullet points from what's been announced. So the park are hoping for an extra 650,000 visitors. Uh, so by the end of the plan, by 2025, they're hoping to have 2.5 to 3 million visitors in total. It will be on 22 hectares of new land, which we already knew about. It will have 300 direct jobs and over 450 indirect jobs. And it hopes to increase the revenues of the park by 75%. So that, theme park and coastal lovers everywhere, that is the five year plan of Futuroscope. So basically, to sum it all up, a new nightly show in 2021. 2022, we're going to be seeing the addition um, of this of this Tornado Hunters, this, um, this brand new uh, Dynamic Motion Theatre attraction by Dynamic Attractions next to Objective Mars and a new pavilion. Uh, we're also going to see the Hyperloop, which is the roller coaster restaurant, Station Cosmos, which is the brand new uh, hotel, the first hotel in the park's history, and also Arena Futuroscope, which is, of course, their brand new show venue for 6,000 people uh, maximum. 2023, we're going to see the brand new second hotel complex, the Eco Lodge. Uh, and also in 2024, we're going to be seeing the Mission Bermudez attraction, Dark Ride attraction, and also. Uh, we're going to see some. Um, we're also going to see the addition of the indoor water park, which is the Aquascope. And in 2025, we're going to see the opening of a brand new roller coaster in December. A major new ride, a roller coaster in December. But I'm going to go on about that in a little bit. First of all, let's talk about everything that's been announced between 2021 and 2024 and my thoughts on them. So, uh, 2021, let's start with that. Uh, yeah, we're going to start with 2021. I was thinking about working it back then, but no, it works very nicely to talk about the coaster in 2025. So 2021, um, the new nightly show, uh, of course, the Key of Dreams is pronounced in English, uh, or translated to in English. Very excited about this. I mean, you saw the concept on your screen. It looks very exciting, doesn't it? Um, I mean, come on. This, this looks like a dream to experience on a night, especially when Futuroscope's open on a nightly, on a nightly session. Um, so I think it's the perfect time to add a new nightly show, especially since this year was a brand new coaster and a new indoor freefall center uh, with zero gravity. So with that and the brand new coaster this year from Intamin, I think that a new nightly show is perfect for next year. Uh, it's going to further bring the park on a worldwide scale and I think that the, the concept from the nightly show, that what you saw on your screen and what I've gone off as well, it looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It just reminds me of Port Aventura. It's just so beautiful in how it's all decorated nicely and how it's all set out and how the fireworks are all planned out. So, you know, I think it's gonna be very exciting. Um, going towards 2022 then, let's talk about the hotels first of all and the roller coaster restaurants. So first of all, uh, Station Cosmos, you saw the concept arts for that and sort of the individual pods, should we say, about the uh, the hotel rooms in this uh, specific resort accommodation complex. Um, they look amazing. They look absolutely, it's like you're stepping into the future. We are stepping into the future in real life. So, um, you know, very excited about that. The design of them was really good. It's got a nice, you know, hyperspace style about them. The roller coaster restaurant, I mean, this is going to look incredible. And, um, Overall, the whole concept of the hotel and the roller coaster restaurant together just looks amazing. Um, and then bringing it into the attraction for 2022, the Tornado Hunters, which is the world's first dynamic motion theatre from Dynamic Attractions. I mean, they, they do some futuristic attractions that are just world class on a completely different level. And this is just another example of that. And the fact that it's themed tornadoes as well, it's a great theme for Futuroscope to go off. They usually go off things like natural disasters, 
uh, the future. Loads of different themes incorporated into this one park. So uh, that's one thing they do very, very well. It's not like a clash of themes in a way. It feels like a collage of themes that just fit nicely together, even if they're different themes entirely. So I think having a space-themed spinning coaster for families and thrill seekers uh, next to this brand new pavilion with the Tornado Hunters Dart Ride uh, motion theatre dart ride attraction. Just it's, it's just going to work fantastically uh, in the park. Uh, 2023, the Eco Lodgers, they look amazing. These Pentagon apartment style structures, they look beautiful. Um, and I think overall, I mean, you probably saw it on the concept art, and I forgot to say it earlier. I mean, the fact that the, the, the two they showed on the concept art actually came off the dock, and they're on like, so part of it was on like its own barge that's over water a little bit. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. And it kind of gives me Enchanted Village in the future kind of vibes. Uh, imagine Enchanted Village at Alton Towers Resort, but in the future. Kind of gives me vibes of that, uh, which is very, very cool. 2024, um, I mean, obviously we've got the two brand new additions, um, one in the park and the brand new indoor water park. We know about the water park before, we spoke about it a few weeks ago, uh, about a month or so ago now, and I thought that looked amazing, so I've got no problems with that at all. I think that's going to be incredible, and we can't get to hear more details about what slide's going to be in this brand new water park uh, and things like that. Um, and also the brand new Dark Ride attraction, Mission Bermudas, uh, which could be a Matt Rocking Boat attraction, but I think whatever it is, it definitely does look like a Matt Rides attraction in itself. So whether it's a Rocking Boat or not, I think it will still be manufactured by Matt Rides. Uh, so it will be a very interesting attraction. I mean, the screen at the side of the boat and the rock work you're going under, it's just going to be an incredible experience. Not even an attraction, but just an experience. And uh, 2025, nothing concept related or anything released by this yet, but I can only imagine this is going to be an incredible new coaster. Now, this brings me on to my final point. What will be the coaster? And I know you're probably going to say, why are you predicting this now? It's good to predict something now and then go back to it a few years later. It's inter it'd be interesting. So, my early prediction is something like what Volcania in France is doing. Something like an Intamin multi-launch. Now, they're doing the Volcano thing with Namzu, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, that's coming in 2021? 2022? Something like that. It's, in, it's either next year or the year after, I can't remember. And this gives me vibes of that. Absolutely 100% gives me vibes of that. I think we're going to see an Intamin multi-launch themed to a natural disaster or something futuristic in the park for 2025. In December, of course. It could be a Christmas themed one since it is opening in December or they could do some kind of Christmas marketing for it just to play on the idea of the holiday season and you know go with the original theme for the coaster instead of a Christmas theme. Uh, and they could do kind of like what Alton Towers did when they marketed Oblivion at the time as SW4. Uh, with the Christmas card and Santa being pulled down by his reindeers down into oblivion down vertically uh, You know that gave hints towards the even though it was not related to Christmas You know it was kind of it had that Christmas marketing towards it uh, So maybe Futuroscope go down that route and do some Christmas themed marketing to promote the potential theme of the ride So maybe Santa and his reindeers get caught up in a whirlwind But that might be close towards the tornado theme of the tornado hunters dark ride which of course by that point will have been open about three years so uh, you know it's incredible how time will fly obviously people are going to be a bit cynical about these plans because of course everything going on at the minute financial crisis covid things like that so i can see why people might think this might not happen but i've seen futuroscope plan these before and I think this is going to happen. Every single one of these days is going to happen at the right year, at the right time. This isn't me being positive. This is me being realistic. I think all of them are going to have to happen. And uh, I'm very excited to see what kind of codes the park are going to add in 2025. So uh, very exciting stuff there. And it's I think, I think if people are cynical about these plans, I think the way I'm thinking about this is I think the park may have pre-planned all these additions a few years in advance. I think that... Uh, all these additions will have been planned in advance and they wouldn't announce all these details about it if it wasn't going to either come true or they were in the final stages of confirming it and nothing was ever going to go wrong. So I think that the part will be really cynical to confirm something that might not happen. So I think it will be confirmed. It is pretty much confirmed now. Uh, so we are going to see these additions between 2021 and 2025 uh, and I'm very excited about them and I can't wait to cover more details about them. This It's stuff like this that keeps the channel going. The, the, and the theme park news on this channel going just brand new additions every single year at any kind of park so you know i'm very excited about this and i cannot wait to cover more details about them so 
There we go. Whoo, that took a breath out of me. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the next five years of Futuroscope. Stay tuned for a brand new video from Europa Park and a brand new video from F Telling coming very, very, very soon. Stay tuned for all of that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, I am Coach Gel. Coop, living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.